morning, good morning. Happy Friday. What's up, Lou? Kate? Hello, hello. How are we doing? So, if this is the first time you are here, drop a 1 in the comments. If you have been here before, you can drop a 2. Just trying to clean off the glasses here so I can see. I apologize for the glare, but it just makes it uh, the only way I can read. So, hi Sandy. Hey Distinguished. What's up Anthony? How are you? Happy Friday to you. How are we doing today? Uh, Sue, hello, Mike, Cat, Angel, Vernon, Doug, Samer, and Joe. How are we doing? Good morning, good morning. Man of Words, hello, Joey, Rebecca, Elvis, MJ. Good morning. So how are we doing? Hope everyone who was in the States had a good Thanksgiving. So what we're going to talk about today well, is really the same thing I talk about every day, and that's creating a monthly income. How many people would like to create monthly income so they have some options? How many people would like to create monthly income? Raise a hand, give me a, an emoji of some sort. And look, I'm not selling you anything, okay? I'm not selling you anything. I'm just, I'm just showing you what I think is the best way that you can create monthly income um, with a one-person business that you can run on about 90 to 95% profit. And um, it will be something that um, you will love doing. So, hello, Sakura. So, if you have questions, Sakura, you can. Um, I'll be happy to invite you on. But if you if you're just here for one of these, you know, battles or something, I don't do that. So, and by the way, I just will let anyone know. Anyone who starts any mess, anyone who decides they want to be cute or, or they want to make some comments, um, we don't we don't play that here because we're educating people. So, if you don't like it then, you know, we will just, we'll, we'll get rid of you. So that's just kind of the way that it works. But hello, Loran. Hello, Kenny. Trying to say good morning to everybody as they come in or good afternoon or good evening. Um, so um, if that's something you want to hear more about, drop some hearts or some likes or, or whatever. And, you know, let's, let's get going. But if you don't want to hear about it, let me know, because I'll just go back to drinking my coffee and, and hanging out. There we go. All right. Good. Good, good. So, how many people here would like to create monthly income? Let's just get a show of hands. How many people would like to create monthly income? Awesome. Awesome. All right. Hello, CC. How are you? Big Bank. Cool. Cool. All right. Yeah, keep those likes coming, guys. And by the way, if this is the first time you have been here, drop a one in the comments. If you have been here on one of my lives before, drop a two. Um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to show you a very simple way that anyone can start this. It's, it's not something that takes a lot of money to do. It's not something that um, you have to learn a whole bunch of new things. You don't have to learn a whole bunch of new skills. Awesome, Albert. Cool, cool. Hey, Kitty, how are you? Uh, Dan, good morning, good morning. So this is about taking something that you're already good at, a skill you already have, something you know how to do, and something you like doing, because that's just as important, and turning that into a monthly, a monthly source of income. 
because there are people out there who want the benefit of your skills, your expertise, something you already know how to do, and they would be willing to pay you for that. How many people would like that? How many people would like um, to turn a skill or a knowledge base that they have into a, uh, into a monthly source of income? Let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in and keep hitting that like button so I know that you're with me. And by the way, if you have questions along the way, you can drop them in the comments. Um, if you're not sure about your idea and how it might translate to something like this, um, drop it in the comments and, and we can kind of go over it a little bit and, and we can see and I can show you how almost any skill Almost any skill can be turned into a monthly source of income. Because there's always going to be people that have a need for that service. Always going to be people for that. And if you, look, um, if you look at the number of people that are doing something like this, um, it's a lot more than you think. There are literally thousands of people doing this. There may be tens of thousands. I haven't checked that much, but um, you know, it's almost like it's almost like this is something you once you realize that this is a good way to make income, and it relies on something you already know and something you you know how to do. Um, once you realize that, you can't unsee it. Basically, is what it is. You cannot. Once you see this as a possibility for yourself, you can't unsee it. And um, I'm not talking about, you know, Lamborghinis and, and, you know, millions of dollars. I'm just talking about what if you had enough to replace your job? How many people would like to make enough this way that they could replace their job? And I don't know what that number is for you. But for the average person, it's somewhere between three and five thousand dollars a month. I know for me, um, I think it was, I think it, that's about where it was. Hello, Albert. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. So, all right. So we're going to get started here because I have got. Um, I've got something I've got to do at 1130. So, um, we'll get, we'll get started here. So if you have been here before, you can drop a two in the comments. If you haven't been on one of my lives before, drop a one. But, so what we're talking about here is taking something you're good at and solving a problem for other people because when you solve problems for people that's the basis for earning money you know one of the questions i often see in my lives is what can i sell or how you know i want to make money and the first question that i always ask somebody is what are you good at what are your skills? Drop some of your skills in the comments. What are you what are you good at? And the reason this idea is so universal and it works is because there's always going to be people in three places. And so there's always going to be people that want you to either, and I don't know if you can see that, HVAC, cool. Cool, Jay. Now, is that a passion for you or is that just the way that you make your living? Cool. Cool. 
So rather than, and normally, normally something like that would be what we call a one-to-one -one service. But what if we could turn that into a one-to-many service? Where you could teach somebody how to do it. Do you think you could teach someone how to do it? Hey, Lucinda, how are you? What's up, Adrian? Yeah, um, I think you could. And because HVAC services are expensive, if you were able to teach somebody and they were able to um, they were able to learn from you on a on a monthly basis on how to do it. You could create monthly income that way. You know, and it doesn't matter what it is. Okay, you could be you could be good at training dogs. You could be good at painting. You could be good at editing photos. You could be good at creating videos. You could be good at helping people write emails. You could be good at um, helping people uh, shop twice and eat seven times. You could be good at helping people um, go through the birthing process. You could, be helping, you could be good at helping people go through divorce. You could be good at helping someone um, start a food truck. You, I mean, there's, there's countless, countless um, ideas here. But all it is, is taking your superpowers, your skills, your talents, your abilities, the things that you like to do, and turning them into a, um, a monthly source of income. Because there will always be people that want you to, and let me bring this over a little bit. There will always be people, and you probably can't really see this, but there will always be people that want you to show them how to do something so they can do it themselves. But then the next level of it, and that's usually, hey, this is, this is what I do. Then there's going to be people that want you to do it with them. And that, a combination of showing them and doing it with them is what we're talking about here. Because that's how you develop the monthly income. So you can show them or... And see, both of these, both of these are one too many models. But if you do it for someone, while you make, make more money per person, it's still one to one. Does that make sense? If you go fix somebody's HVAC system, you can only serve one person at a time. So that's a one to one business model. And what that does is that limits your time. It limits your income. And if you're trying to really make an impact and teach somebody something, it limits the amount of people that you can do that with. But if you use a one-to-many model, you leverage your time. And the reason I call my um, the reason I call my company set it and forget it is because you set it up once and then you just deliver it over and over and over and over again. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate that. So it's a one-to-many business model. And what a one-to-many business model does is it creates leverage. And that's what we're talking about here. Leverage. More time. More money. And since you're going to teach somebody something and it's going to have long-term implications for them, it's more, it's more impact. What this is, is this is a lifestyle business. This is not something where you trade your hours for dollars. This is something where you trade your knowledge for dollars. Does that make sense? Who's with me on that? Who would rather trade their knowledge for money rather than their time. Anybody else? Thank you for liking the live. I appreciate that. Keep those likes coming just so I know that we're on the same page and you guys are liking this. Cool. Cool. So, 
so what we're talking about then is we're talking about taking something that you already know about. So you don't have to learn a bunch of stuff about this. All you have to do is find the people who need that, who need that knowledge. Does that make sense? And that's basically just saying to people, hey, if you have this problem, I can help you with it. But this is a leverage thing because what it's going to do is it's going to give you, um, like I said, it's a lifestyle business. The other thing about something like this is it's high profit. It's high profit. It's, um, like I said, it's a lifestyle business. And it is scalable. Now, usually... Scalable. Um, usually, with a business, to grow the business, you generally have to spend more money. You either have to get uh, more inventory, more, um, more equipment, you have to hire more people, you have to... Um, you have to take out loans so you can afford to expand the business. But this, why I call this a lifestyle model, because this is a one-to-one -one business. You can run this the same way with one person paying you monthly as you can with a thousand people paying you monthly. How's that sound to everybody? Would you like a business that you did not have to invest thousands and thousands more to grow and scale? Who would like that? Sweet, sweet. And welcome, Lucinda. Happy, uh, happy belated Thanksgiving. I know we spoke uh, the other day, but cool, cool, cool. So what we're talking about and why I say it's high profit is because these businesses are only based on two things. They're based on providing someone education and then giving them access to you to help them. So it's, you have the knowledge, you share the knowledge digitally or using the internet, you share that knowledge with them and then they will, um, they will benefit from the knowledge and then they will also benefit from spending time with you to help them through. And both of those things don't take a lot of money to do because what you're doing is you're digitizing information you have in your head. That's all you're doing. You're digitizing information you have in your head with some pre-recorded learning not a lot, but just the basics. And then the majority of the time and the majority of the way that you help people is you answer their questions and you spend time with them and help them overcome the things that are holding them back from understanding what you're trying to teach them. And then your ultimate goal here. And so when I say it's a high profit, it's a 90 to 95% profit business. And the reason I say that is because the way that the way that I teach this is imagine you had a hundred people paying you $47 a month for your knowledge. How many people would like to have a hundred people paying them $47 a month for their knowledge rather than, than one employer paying them what they thought they were worth? How many people would like that? Give me a show of hands. Let's keep those likes coming. Just let me know we're on the same page here. Let me know this is something you guys are interested in finding out more about. Cool, cool. So, like again, this is a leverage model. And what I learned the hard way, because I have been through the old model, okay? And I did it probably longer than most of the people on here. And I did it for 35 years. And that was... I went out, I got a college degree. I used my college degree for a little bit. 
Then I migrated away from my college degree and I started just working and trying to find the jobs that could pay me the most so my wife and I could afford to live the way we wanted to. And out of the 16 jobs I have had since I started working at age 20, I don't know, 23, 24, somewhere in there. Um, out of the 16 jobs that I have had, I have liked exactly one of them. But I learned really early that in that old business model, no one cares if you like your job. You got bills to pay. But in this new age that we now live in, you can actually get paid for something you love. And you can, you can offer your value to hundreds or thousands rather than your loyalty to one. And that's what I wanted to do because I felt undervalued by every single one, especially the four employers that laid me off. including the last one. I felt undervalued by them. I didn't feel appreciated by them. They didn't care that I put in 4,000 hours in a four-year period working for one of those companies. They didn't care. They just got rid of me. And so I decided I was not going to offer my I was not going to offer my loyalty to one anymore. I was going to offer my value to many in this one too many business model. But it's highly profitable because, you, could, like I said, you can run a business like this where the moment you get one person paying you $47 a month, you've pretty much broken even. then every other person that you add to your business or you add to your membership, because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about paid membership groups. But every other person you add to that membership is just profit on top of profit on top of profit. Because again, you can run this business for the same amount of money at one member or one subscriber as you can with a thousand subscribers. So it's basically a pure profit business. I know that sounds too good to be true and it sounds hypey, but it's the truth. Now, you may upgrade some of your technology or your tools along the way, but to get started, it's it's a pure profit. I mean, you know, it's pure profit. The other thing, it is lifestyle. So... How would you like a business like this where you would spend about three hours a day creating content and asking and answering questions and helping people deal with their issues inside of your program? Maybe spend a couple hours with them on a Zoom once a week. And then you have the rest of the time for yourself. And you can make 50 grand a year. How would you like to work 20 to 25 hours a week on your schedule? Not when somebody else told you you had to be there, but on your schedule. Anybody else? Anybody like that idea? Let me know. Drop those likes. Keep the comments coming. What's up, Jay? How are you? So this is, this is the business model that we've chosen here. And like I said, we already said, that's awesome. Good for them. You know, I know so I, my boss at my last job that I worked, my boss, he made 400 grand a year. But he lived with his laptop at the beach when he went on vacation. He lived with his phone at his side knowing he could get a call anytime in the middle of the night and he'd have to leave. And when I looked at that, I was like, I'll take a quarter of that money to know I can get up and go anywhere I want at any time I want and nobody's going to bug me like that. 
and I'm only going to be doing what I want to do. So I came to realize that how much you make is irrelevant. It's how you make it and do you enjoy your life along the process. Because I promise you, you can, you can live just as well making 60 grand a year in a business like this because it's your own and you're a business owner as opposed to someone who makes 100 grand a year working for somebody else. You can live the same way because of the tax benefits. And I'm not a tax attorney. I'm not a CPA. I don't have all the particulars. But I do know that when you own your own business... You get to deduct all your expenses before you declare how much money you made. And this is a business that almost almost anything you do is used for your business. Your phone is used for your business. Your laptop is used for your business. Your Wi-Fi is used for your business. Any of that type of stuff can be used for your business. But it's a lifestyle business. And then I said it is scalable, obviously, because it doesn't take additional revenue on your part to... Uh, to do that. So, so what are we talking about here then? We're talking about a paid subscription group. It's one of the most, um, it's one of the best business models on earth. And it's just getting more and more popular and becoming more and more successful as we go. Now, most people know subscription groups for entertainment purposes. You either have a Netflix subscription, or you have a Hulu subscription, or Paramount Plus, or Apple TV, or Discovery Plus, or Prime Video, or HBO Max. Um, I mean, there's tons, tons more. But that's for entertainment purposes. Then there are some, uh, well, your cable. I mean, that's basically entertainment. That's a, that's a subscription service. But then you have other ones that you don't even think of, but that's exactly what the apps. Apps are a subscription service. It's just you either pay them yearly or you pay them monthly. But apps are a subscription service. Um, your insurance, your car, your home, those are subscription services. And in that case, think about really what insurance is. Insurance has convinced you to pay monthly for something that has a 90% chance of not happening to you. And you will pay for that certainty month after month, you will pay that insurance premium. So subscription services, and they are on, they are on the rise. Subscription services are an amazing way to make money um, because it's recurring income, and that's what people want. There are a lot of people who try to make money online. And Nine times out of 10, the way they're trying to make money online is through one-off products. And I'm not saying one-off products don't work, but here's what happens with one-off products. You can have a great month and then you can have a shitty month. Pardon my French. You can have an okay month and then you can have an, an absolute zero month. How many people have ever run a business where... You don't know from month to month what kind of money you're going to make. And you always start at zero. Now, that's most businesses. Most businesses are that way. And that's why most businesses don't succeed. There's no predictability of their income. And what happens is... Their expenses stay the same, but if their income doesn't stay the same, then they lose money and that's how they go out of business. And that's why eight out of 10 businesses don't survive. But with a, with a predictable, stable, increasing monthly income, 
with really no downside risk because you're not investing. You're not spending an enormous amount of money to run a business like this. It's just a business that has nothing but upside. Thank you, uh, Clay, uh, hopefully, or Archaic. Thank you for following. So, and the reason this is such a great business model is think about where we are in the world right now. Think about what we have access to. Think about what we're able to do. And this all started with the pandemic because people realized you don't have to be face-to-face. -face. Um, you don't have to be face-to-face -to, -face to be productive, right? Now, here's a case in point. My, my wife works for a, um, a government agency. And for decades, they swore up and down, we have to give people access to their workers because it's a public, you know, it's a government um, entity. We have to give them, uh, we have to give them daily access to their workers. We have to give them daily access to people who can help them. And so they had a big office. They had 75 people that showed up there every day and showed up to their little cubicles. And they each had their little computer towers with their information in it. And they always said, this is, pro this is, um, this is private information. So it has to stay here. And then guess what happened? The pandemic happened and they sent everybody home and they all worked from home. Everybody literally took these towers that had this quote unquote private information. They all went home to their, to their homes and now there's 10 people left in that office that choose to be there because it's just easier for them to work uh, from the office rather than it is to try to work from home because of distractions. But what we found out, and we also found out, we don't have to business travel anymore. We just hop on Zoom. We can accomplish the same things. So what we found is that if we choose, there's a lot more flexibility. You know, kids found this out with college when they weren't allowed to go to school. The ability to learn does not require you to be face-to-face. -face. The ability to learn can happen on the internet. That's really what we found. So, if other people can teach people using the internet, so can you. You can use the internet to teach somebody, somebody something you want them to learn and something they want to learn and something they're willing to pay you to learn. And understand, when you teach somebody something, all you're doing is you're helping them transform, you're helping them go from, this is where I am, all right, no, I always do that. Point A is, I'm not happy with where I am, I don't have a certain amount of knowledge or I don't have this skill and I'm unhappy about that and I want to learn or, um, or, gain, or gain this skill. Sorry about that. Um, and I want to learn or gain this skill or this knowledge because when I do, I'll get the outcome that I want. It makes me happy. And generally, generally you can teach somebody how to do something in somewhere between six and nine steps. Because if you're good at what you do, if you love it, if you spend lots of time doing it, if you've really done this a long time, or even if you haven't done it that long, but you've, you're good at it, we all develop a process, right? We don't just fly by the seat of our pants. We develop a process. It's just like you get in the car. Well, you get in the car, hopefully you put on your seatbelt. Then you look around, you start the engine. 
Then you put the car in reverse or forward, depending on, you know, where you are, and you start driving. But there's a step-by-step -step process. Back when I was in the gas and oil industry, we had a step-by-step -step process that we had to go through with the vehicles that we drove as a pre as a pre-trip inspection. And it was a process. It went through step by step, determining that this piece of, you know, this piece of equipment, this vehicle was safe to drive. So it's the same thing. Everything that we do has a process. Making movies has a process. Baking a cake has a process. And so all you're doing is you are sharing your recipe with how to do whatever you do step by step with somebody else. That's all you're doing. And when you do that, they go from, I don't know how to do this to, I do know how to do this. Or this is where I am. This is where I want to be. And you're solving a problem. Because if you're not solving a problem and you're trying to start a business, you're doing it in the wrong way. You're not thinking the right way and you're not, you're not putting the person whose problem you're trying to solve first. And all you need to do is figure out who you're solving the problem for, what problem you're solving, how you're solving it, and then finding a way to let the people know who have that problem that, hey, I can solve that problem for you. And by the way, we are not talking about a large number of people. There's 4.8 billion people who have access to the internet and you need to find a hundred. And then you charge them a monthly fee and it's not a huge monthly fee. You know, I have this guitar and back when I learned how to play this thing, and I'm not very good, but back when I learned how to play this guitar, I had a lesson every week. And in that lesson every week, they charged me 17 bucks. So what is that? 17 times four, what is that, 68? So I was, I was paying $68 a month to learn how to play guitar. So do you think that somebody would be willing to learn how to play guitar for $47 a month? Of course they would. And that's, that's what you need to think of it as. Whatever it is that you do, all you're doing is you're asking someone to pay you less than a night out a month to learn that thing. And only people that really want to learn that thing are going to pay you $47 a month. And the reason I choose 47 is because it's not a huge amount of money, but it also requires some commitment on the part of the person who is going to pay it. It's not an insignificant, it's not a huge amount of money, but it's not an insignificant amount of money either. It's kind of right there in the middle. And if learning this skill that you're going to teach them will save them or make them money, it will improve their relationships or it will improve their health or it will give them more convenience. Like it'll give them more time or it'll help them do something um, more efficiently. They'll pay that. Well, we're not talking about a cold audience here, April. I absolutely 100% disagree. They are not getting they are not getting overloaded. It's not been my experience. And it's certainly not the experience of the person I know 
who has 300 people paying him $97 a month or the 200 people I know paying someone $50 a month on a Discord for their financial advice or the 5,000 people paying for templates and learning how to do DIY crafts and they're paying um, $15 a month. It's not at all high. It's free. It's free to acquire those people. You just have to be willing to do it consistently. And that's just three examples. There's a guy out there who has 150,000 subscribers paying him $47 a month for his service. He makes $41 million a year doing this. So it's not. That, that is a, that's a common misconception when, um, when things like that happen. When, when people doubt their value in the marketplace, they think that it's over, uh, they think that it's um, whatever, the, um, it's saturated. There's no such thing as saturation. There's 4.8 billion people in the world. You need to find 100. 4.8 billion people that have access to the internet. Now, think of it this way. Say you're good at, um, say you're good at gardening. You know, either um, growing vegetables or growing plants or, um, you know, or flowers or whatever. Say you're good at gardening. Horticulture is your thing. There's 50 million people interested in that subject all over the world. 50 million. You need to find 100 that'll pay you $47 a month. And you'll make more than most. And if you up that to 150 people that are paying you that, you'll make, uh, you'll make more than um, the average of um, a family of four in every state in the United States. Now, does it happen tomorrow? No, but it'll happen. Because you're not trying to find 100. That's the thing. You're only needing to find about 10. And then we show you how to scale those results with affiliate programs, getting into other people's um, email lists that are much larger than yours, as well as... Um, what was the other one? Oh, as well as creating scarcity and urgency with people. There are literally tens of thousands probably that are doing this. And there's no reason you can't either. Now, it takes time to find the people. But it doesn't take money. Cost of acquisition is zero. So I hope I've addressed that. And, and here's how you find them. All right. You figure out what problem you're solving. You figure out that you are actually solving a problem. In what area are you solving the problem? And then you create content that says to people, hey, if you're struggling to lose that last 20 pounds, or if you if you're great at taking photos, but you're not real great at editing them so they turn out the way that they should, or if you, um, I'm trying to think of some, some different ways we could go here. Oh, are you sick of, let's see, what was I gonna say? Oh, are you sick of Thinking you have, to, you have to go out and you have to drink every single time you go out with your family? Are you sick of being yelled at by your family or are you embarrassed? You know, are you sick of your family being embarrassed so they don't even want to go out with you anymore because they know you're going to drink? Is drinking costing you the relationship with your, your spouse or your children? Is drinking affecting your work? Is drinking costing you a lot of money? Is drinking so the people that have the only person who's going to listen to a piece of content like that is a person who's struggling with that problem, right? 
All the rest of the people will tune out, and that's okay. It's okay if people tune out. But you create content. What, then what that content does is it gives somebody some incentive to want to learn more. This is called a lead magnet. Now, I don't want to get too much into the weeds on marketing here, but it's called a lead magnet. And all it does, all it's designed to do is get an email address. Because what everybody who succeeds online knows is that the email address is the most important thing to get. It's not getting a sale. So the goal after getting 100 is to incentivize those people to help you get the next 100. And you do that by giving them money. That's, that's how you get it. And then after that, it's 200. And then it's 400. And then it's, you know, and then it's 800. But just forget the big numbers. If you got to a hundred and, well, if you got to 200 people paying you $47 a month, which is not a lot of money. Um, I mean, it's not a lot of money for them. If you got to 200 people paying you $47 a month, that's, that's $100,000 a year. Most people can live very nicely on that. And if you go beyond that, then you're talking about, you know, top two or 3% of incomes all over the entire world. But what you do is you create content. And that content calls out the people that have the problem that you can solve. And it is just like what I said before, you know. Are you sick of coming home from work every night trying to figure out what you're going to make? Well, I came up with this thing because I was in that same boat. And I came up with this, this process where I can cook twice and eat for seven days. We save a ton of money. We save a bunch of time. I'm not exhausted when I get home every night. I get to spend more time with my kids and less time in the kitchen cooking. And it just makes for a happy after work life. Now, if you're interested in that, I've actually got this free guide where I show you how I do it or I show you what I do. And if you want that, go here and give me your email address. That's what your content is like. That's, that's how you create a piece of content. And every piece of content that you create has the goal of getting an email address. It has the goal of getting an email address. And what this is called, unlike, unlike messaging people, um, going to trade shows, going to community events, you know, advertising in anything from a high school yearbook to the newspaper, to online, what it does is it calls out only the people who are interested in what you have. Um, that's true. I mean, it all starts here. Look, this is not for everybody. But anybody can do it. But if it were for more people, and I was on here just telling you, oh yeah, just, you know, just turn on this button, open this website, and money's going to pour in. There'd be a lot more people on this live, but this actually requires work. So it's not for everybody, but anybody can certainly do it. And I don't care where you are in the world, anybody can do this. This is not a business that... You know, you have to invest thousands and thousands up front or you have to invest thousands and thousands of month to, to run. But so you give them incentive with this thing called a lead magnet and they give you their email address. Now, here's what happens. And the reason 
where they go to give you the email address is they go to this thing called a landing page. And it's actually a page that has four pages in it. So they go to the page and all the page is, it's very simple. The page might have a, um, might have a headline, might have a picture, might have a couple of bullet points, and then it's got a button. And the only thing you can do on that button is get the email address. I'm going to put info in here, but it's email address. And you don't need their name. You don't need their phone number. You just need an email address. And so from that page, when, when they give you the email address, you can take them to the next page. And the next page might be a video explaining what you do. And it's done in a very specific way. It's called a video sales letter. And it's done in a very specific way where it says, this is who I am. This is the problem. This is the solution. And now here's your choice. And then you make the offer to help them solve the problem. And they're going to work with you to solve the problem because it's going to save them time. It's going to save them money. And it's going to save them frustration. And they're also going to have help. And then there's a button that says, if you want my help, click here. And then if they click there, there's going to be another page. And it's, it's going to be a thank you. Thank you. You made a great decision. You go here. And by the way, this all happens on autopilot, okay? This is not something where you have to manually do any of this. That's why I call this set it and forget it. Now, the vast majority of people will not make the decision to buy when they see that video. Or they won't make the decision to join your group when they see that video. They're going to need some more information. A very small percentage, the minority of people, will actually do this. So then what happens, if they don't click this button to buy, they go into this sequence of emails. Why do we use email? Because email is the most powerful way to educate people, make sure that you stay in their mind, Make sure you remind them you can solve their problem. And eventually, that's where the majority of uh, sales come from. That's where the majority of sales come from. And so you do this with, say, I'm only putting five here, but... And you do it in the beginning. You make sure that you email them consistently because they opted in for your thing for a reason. They've got a problem they need help with. They know they can't solve it on their own. They need your help. Otherwise, they wouldn't have opted in for your thing. So in order for them to be reminded that you're gonna be able to help them solve their problem, you have to stay in contact with them. And the reason we do this on email, and we don't rely on them seeing your videos or seeing your lives, is because this is a super high way of distraction and we don't own it. Think about the highways that you drive down. You don't own those highways. At any moment, they could put up a blockade and say, you can't travel this highway anymore. You don't own it. Same thing with your social media. You don't own it. The only thing you own is your email list. It's the only thing you own. And the vast majority, almost three quarters of sales any, in anything come from email follow-up. Because email is unobtrusive. I mean, how many times we all check our email? You know, if it's our personal email, maybe we don't check, you know, work email that often. But we all check our email. And when you're in email, it's, a, it's an actual one-to-one -one conversation that you're having. 
but it's on autopilot. And so you want to send them like 10 emails in a 15-day period, reminding them you can solve their problem, but also giving them value along the way. You don't just constantly say, hey, buy my thing, buy my thing. You say, oh, by the way, did you know about this? This will help you. And then this will. And oh, by the way, here's a free gift. And you let them know all of that. And so you, you have this, you have three phases. You clarify who you're talking to. That is your content. Your content lets people know who this is for, who it's not for. Like, if you're looking for get rich quick and you're looking for, um, you know, just buying somebody's course and then selling their course and, and, you know, making high ticket commissions, this ain't for you. But if you actually want to provide value to people and you want to stabilize your income, this is a very good way to do it. And this might be for you. So you clarify your message. Then the second thing you do is you collect the email address. Because that gets people off of the super highway of social media and gets them into the on-ramp of email. The off-ramp of email. Social media is the highway. You want to get people off of that into email. Because that continues the conversation. And the reason we do this in, in, um, in email, because here's what people need to see. This is Google's numbers. These aren't mine. Um, people need to spend 11 hours on average with your brand now. If somebody's seeing me for the first time today, before they decide to let me help them, they're probably going to need to see 11 hours of my content, my emails, my lives, my free workshops on Saturdays. They're going to need to see that. They're also going to need to see the offer from you seven times. Because we don't accept the offer the first time. How many times do you go into, not everybody's like this, but most people are like this. How many times do you go into a car dealership to get a car? You immediately go to one dealership and you find a car and you immediately buy that car on that day. That's very, very rare. It doesn't happen that often. And so unless you have a way to continue that conversation with those people while they're not at your dealership, you've lost them. They will never come back and you will, you've lost that sale. But if you have a way to follow up with people with email, you can continue to offer value and then make your offer. Because understand, all we're doing at its basis thing, any online business is create an offer. Well, that's your knowledge. Explain the offer. Tell them what problem it solves and who it's for. And then make the offer. If you're not making an offer to people on the internet, you will never make sales. And people who think that they don't have any value to offer are the ones that aren't making offers. Or the people that are worried that what people will think of them if they make offers, they don't believe in what they have. And so they won't make an offer. But if you know the value you bring, you know what problems you solve. You know how valuable it is to solve those problems for a specific group of people. You'll make offers because you know you're helping them. So you create the offer that's digitizing your knowledge. You explain the offer that is your content. And then you make the offer. But we clarify the message. And how we clarify it is we put it out there and only the people who have that problem are going to go to your landing page. Nobody else is going to your landing page. And so what you're doing is you are, you're vetting possible leads that way. You're vetting leads.
And what you want is you want a certain percentage, probably between 20 and 40, you want a certain percentage of people who visit your website to give people to uh, to give you their email address. Because somebody who goes to your website and says, I want this in return for the email, then you have an engaged lead. You've got an engaged lead. So you educate them and you make the offer. And then they also need to see you in four different places or four different locations. And those four different locations could be, um, they could be a live, they could be another platform, they could be a video, they could see you in email, Maybe they'll see you on, uh, you know, a free training that you do. So they need to spend 11 hours with you. They need to hear your offer seven times and they need to see you in four different places. Location, location, location. And these are, these are, this is not, this is not my opinion. This is, this is studies that Google and other people that are a lot smarter than me have done. And that's it. And the reason I call, oh, and then by the way, since this is where the majority of sales come from, it's convert. And the reason I call my company set it and forget it is because you make it once You make, this is a machine, all right? This is an automated machine. And the only way that this machine gets fed is content that directs people to that landing page. But when you direct people to that landing page, the collection of the email happens on autopilot. The, um, the sequence of emails that they receive that help them make their decision goes out on autopilot. So the only thing that you have to do on a consistent basis is clarify your message by keep making content. Make two to three short videos a day. If you have the ability to do so, go live once a day. And if you don't have the ability to go live, keep getting enough followers until you can go live. Now on other platforms, you can go live without a certain number of followers, but here it takes at least a thousand. But it doesn't take that long to get to a thousand followers if you're providing good content. If you're providing content that answers people's questions, it solves their problems, you'll, you'll reach a thousand followers. And then you can go live. And then you can take questions. Then you can answer questions, you can, you can take questions, you can offer feedback to people and you can solve their problem. And this is the only way that business works, especially online. If you're not solving somebody's problem, they're not going to pay you. So if you prove that you can solve their problem, then they'll pay you. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, I don't have proof that I, I believe I can solve their problem, but I don't have proof. Here's how you solve that issue. Go out there and make, make content that says, hey, I've been doing this for a while. I know it works, but you know what? I want proof that it works. So I'm offering to help three people for free. I'm willing to help three people for free. If you want to be one of those three people that I'm going to help you do X and get to X, reach out to me and you'll have people that reach out to you because everybody wants something for free. And you say, okay, so here's the deal. I will help you get this result for free. All I ask for you to do is once I help you, you give me a raving testimonial that I can, that I can put out, um, you know, as part of my marketing and you give me permission to do that. So what happens then is you have your proof of concept you have a testimonial, which makes great marketing for you. 
And you also learn through the process how to improve what you do and get them the result quicker. So you get feedback on what you do so you can make what you do better. Because if you're going to run a paid subscription group like this, you have got to continue to make it better. That's what keeps them around. That's why they'll stay. They're going to stay for three reasons. Number one, you continue to make it better and you continue to educate them. Number two, they have a financial incentive to stick around. And then number three, they develop relationships. I am in masterminds right now with people that I wouldn't leave that mastermind for the pure, for the pure fact that I wouldn't get to hang out with the people that I get to hang out with now. Don't, under, don't underestimate the power of relationships when it comes to this type of stuff. But the reason I call this setitandforgetit.co is because You set up the marketing machine once. You set up the collection machine once. You set up the conversion machine once. And then all you have to do is continually clarify your message. You continually clarify your message by making content every single day. And that content is constantly saying, hey, if you have this problem, I can help you. If you have this problem or if you don't know how to do this and tell people how you gained that knowledge. For me, it was five years and $15,000 of studying some of the best people in the world doing this. So that's where my knowledge came from. And I've learned from the very best. And if you look at them, if you study all these people who make money online, they all have some version of this. They have an automated way to generate leads. They have an automated way to close leads. They don't require sales calls. They don't require appointments. They have an auto way, automated way to do this. And then the only thing they do, and once, once you have the lead and they have... Um, and they've converted to a member in your group because you're going to solve their problem. You've created the solution. You have attracted the people who need the solution through your content. And then you deliver the solution. And how do we deliver the solution? We just keep educating them and we just keep giving them access to us. Thank you, Becky. Appreciate that. And this will work for anything. I don't care if you're teaching people how to knit, how to do silk flower arrangements, how to help people um, better relate to their autistic children, how to go through the birthing process, how to, um, how to help people start a food truck, how to help people learn how to do DIY projects. It doesn't matter. And if you own a traditional business where you offer a traditional one-to-one -one service or a one-to-one -one product to somebody, I want you to think about this real quick. What if instead of making your little widget here, and selling that widget for whatever amount of money. And you had to individually make that thing. You had to buy the materials for that thing. You had to inventory the materials for that thing. You had to make that thing. And then you had to ship that thing to them. What if instead of doing that, uh, how can I do this? What if you just taught them using the internet how to do that thing for themselves? Now, if you make the thing for somebody, you've got 
You've got time invested. You've got money invested. Like there's a, a good friend of mine on here. She's got a huge following. And this is what she found out. She is an artist. And she makes custom pieces. And she was doing tutorials and showing people the process of her creating these one-of-a-kind pieces. But she had a lot less people who wanted to buy that piece at a high price tag than she had people who wanted to learn how to do what she's doing. So she realized that her value is not in offering some expensive piece. It's in teaching people how to make that piece themselves. And so instead of selling one piece to make $500 one time or $1,000 or whatever she charges for it, instead of doing that, she could have 50 people in her group paying her $40 a month and make $2,000 a month rather than one sale for $500. Does that make sense? So if you have a traditional business, an Etsy shop or uh, whatever, if you have that, at the beginning of every month, this is exactly the income you start with. I don't care how successful you are. I don't care if you do $10,000 next month. The following month, you start here. And you have to ramp it up every single month. And some months you're going to have good numbers. Some months you're going to have bad numbers. Thank you for following, Edward. But if you create a membership program, which is an easy ask of the customer, it's not a lot of money. They still get the value. You continue to bring the value because you continue to educate and spend time with them and solve their problems and hang out with them, give them access to you. You know, there's a guy who, um, who I know who has a, he has a $7,500 product. It's a business to business product. It's $7,500. Now, what would be easier for him to market a $7,500 product where people have to pay for it either in one or two payments all up, all up front or a $625 a month item that um, they're going to get the same value from. How many more of the latter could you sell as opposed to the one. Now, if you sell one of the 7,500, that's great. But there's no guarantee you're going to sell one next month. But it's a lot simpler to ask somebody to pay monthly and give them value rather than asking them to pay a whole crap ton up front and then give them value. It's an easier ask for them. It takes less time for them to make that decision. It's a more no-brainer decision for them. They get more value out of it because in all likelihood, you can probably give them the equivalent of the whole program's value, a lot of it up front. And then when they get that value up front, they'll continue to pay you month after month. It's just like when... I was shown this whole process and then I was told, oh yeah, by the way, once you create this funnel thing, this landing page thing, you'll start getting, you'll start getting, um, you'll start getting leads on autopilot. And once I did that, and so that's what I started offering to people inside of our program. So, clarify, collect, convert. And then once you convert them, you got to deliver. Does this make sense? Drop me some likes. Ask any questions you want to. What's up, Ken? Hello, Elmer. Drop any questions you want. Um, but I have to go soon, so 
This is a very simple process. People overcomplicate it. They, um, they think they can't do it. They think no one would want to learn from them. There's a whole bunch of reasons. None of them are valid. I mean, your fears are valid, don't get me wrong. But there's a whole bunch of reasons people think that they can't do something like this. And I show you exactly how we do it. I show you what we do. What's up, Loy? How are you? Does this make some sense? Master Chef Mobile Kitchens. All right. So, Master, you could teach people how to start a kitchen. And you could do it on a paid subscription group. And if it's reasonable enough for them, on a monthly basis, they would pay you for it. So you would have monthly recurring revenue. Monthly recurring income. Who else has got an idea? What's up, Craig? How are you? Who else has got an idea or a skill that they would like to turn into a paid subscription group? Uh, shout it out in the comments here. And if you got something out of this, drop me some likes. Let me know that we're on the same page. Let me know if this was worth your time. Let me know if this helped you. Because all it is, is it's a shift in the way you think. That's all it is. It's a shift from this, I'm going to offer my value to one, I'm going to offer my loyalty to one, as opposed to my value to hundreds or thousands. It's just a fundamental shift in how you see your value to other people. Because again, for decades, I offered my loyalty to one. And that got me 16 jobs, six careers, and four layoffs. There you go. Teach people how to do that. And you'll have recurring income. Teach people how to be one sale, clo uh, one sale closers. Again, offer your value to thousands. Because maybe there's people out there that want to close high ticket services. Teach them how. You know, the old Bible saying, uh, give a man a fish, he, fish, he eats for a day. Teach a man to fish, he fishes for his entire lifetime. And the same goes for you and your income. If you just give somebody the high close, that's one thing. You know, that's one day. And it's also this, it's also a shift in what, you know, many people, especially in sales, already know. But it's also a shift from, I will give you a million dollars up front and you can never earn any more money in your entire life. That's the deal you make. I will give you, I will hand you a check for a million dollars. But you can never earn income the rest of your life. You have to learn how to live on that million dollars for the rest of your life. You're not allowed to earn any more income. Or you can double a penny every day for 30 days. Most people take the million because they have a short term um, they have a short term view. They have short term thinking. Exactly, Loy. Because Loy knows that if you take the penny doubled every day, by day 30, you're at 5.38 million. By day 31, you're at 10 million. And by day 32, you're at 20 million. So if you were short-sighted and you had this short-term view, you left $4 million on the table after 30 days. 
and then it will just continue to compound. And that's what this is. Say it took you six months to get to 100 people. Yeah, it's the same way we get, um, well, I mean, it's not going to grow exactly like that, obviously, but um, it will grow. And here's the other thing. It's not a business where you've got thousands of dollars going out the door. And to grow the business, all you're doing is creating content. And lawyers would be like, hey, have you ever wanted to close high ticket sales? Well, I've been doing this for the last 10 years and I've come up with this step-by-step -step process where you can learn how to do this. So what's on the roadmap? That's a good thing that you asked. All the roadmap is, is this helps you flesh out your idea. That's all it does. The roadmap helps you flesh out your idea because you're going to, what I do is I give you this series of chat GPT prompts. And it's a, what it does is it allows you to create the perfect business based on your interests, your passions, and your talents. You get to design your dream life based on the goals and the income you need and the time frame you choose to reach them. You get to learn how to attract your ideal customers for your digital product or your paid subscription group with uh, the right marketing techniques and you create urgency and scarcity so they buy now. And the reason that you can figure out these um, powerful marketing techniques because you start out with this kind of a prompt. You're now my company board comprised of my chief financial officer, sales officer, and chief marketing officer. And you plug that into chat GPT and then it says, okay, understood, as your virtual board, I am here to assist you with financial analysis, sales strategies, marketing insights, and more. Feel free to present any business-related queries on scenarios for discussion and advice. And then I put in there, okay, these are my, uh, these are my areas of skill. Create a teaching program idea for each of these interests. And boom, it knocks this stuff out. Then I said, okay, these are my goals. I want to do them in the next two years. How much do I need to make on a daily basis to do this? And you give them all monetary values. Because if you just say, I want to make X amount of money, that's a wish. That's not a, that's not a plan. But if you go in there and you say, okay, based on everything that I want, this is how much I need to make per day to make that happen. And then you say, okay, if, what if I've got two products? What if I've got a uh, $47 a month product and that accounts for 70% of my income and um, I've got a 45% uh, percentage of visitors to leads on my uh, gen uh, lead generating landing page. And what if I have a sales conversion of 2% of those leads that buy immediately? And then what if I have a sales conversion rate of 68% of those leads who buy after 22 days or more? And based on those conversion rates, what are the total number of leads needed daily to convert sales to reach my goal? And you give it this specific information. Because remember, this is your financial advisor and your marketing advisor. And it will use math in a way that I don't have the capability of doing. And by the way, it'll do this for you in 30, 30 seconds. And then you do, oh, by the way, I've got a product too, which is a yearly membership. It's, a, um, it's about a 15% discount over the monthly membership if somebody wants to pay all up front. It's got the same, um, it's got the same conversion rates. And it accounts for 30% of my income. Because if you create a monthly and a yearly option, about 20 to 30% will probably take the yearly option because they want the deal. It's just human nature. And then understanding those two calculations from above, from those last two bumps, combine the daily leads and sales number. Now, once you have this, once you know I need eight leads a day and five sales a day, to reach those figures based on those conversion rates. Now you know exactly what you need. Now see, that's a plan. 
And if you, sorry, let's go back again. If you go to this page and just give me your email address, I'll send it right to you. I'll send this to you. And then what you will do is you will take your business idea and you will customize this. This is not a one size fits all. I'm not trying to shoehorn you into my idea. You say, hey, these are my interests. What kind of a program can I create? And then you can tell it. I want to create, you know, six or nine, um, you know, six or nine parts of my process. And it'll spit the whole thing out for you. And if it doesn't jive with the way that you do things, then change it. It's not something where you have to use this. But it, what it does is it gives you a start. Because here's what, here's what ChatGBT doesn't suffer from that we as human beings do. It doesn't suffer from procrastination. It doesn't suffer from not thinking its ideas are good enough. In some ways, that artificial intelligence is much, well, it's already much more efficient than we are because it would literally take you weeks or, or months to develop that on your own. And ChatGPT will be able to do that for you in 30 seconds. And the more specific you are about your goals, your product, your interests, the, the quicker or the more defined your idea will be. And by the way, this landing page that I created, the really ugly looking one. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, sorry about that. This really ugly looking landing page yeah, it converts at about um, 49%. Which means that for every 100 visitors that I get to my landing page, I get 49 email addresses. That's a really good rate in case you're unaware. That's a really good rate. And this is the type of stuff we teach inside my program. Now, I did have this, and this is a page you may see. Um, that does not, even though it's prettier, you know, it's got, the, it's got the fancy thing on it. It's got the big headline. It's got the graphic. You know, it's got some bullet points, and it's got a button that does the same thing. That one converts about a third as well as this one does. And what that was for me is that was this, um, that was this message that simple is best. Less is more. And the whole purpose of sending somebody to a page is not for them to look at a bunch of pretty pictures. It's not for them to read a bunch of text. It's not for them to think and be, be impressed by you. It's the email address. That is, that is your only goal. Because if you know how many leads you need on a daily basis to get something, then your whole goal is just to get leads. Because the sales conversion rates follow. And I know Loy knows this because he's in sales. He knows if he gets in front of X number of people, he's going to make X number of sales. So his goal is the appointment to get in front of those people. Right? That's his goal. Get in front of the, get in front of the specific number of people. Everything else takes care of itself. Same thing happens online. Your goal is to generate leads because... It's human nature. We know how people make decisions and it's simple. So now with all that in mind, I'm going to, um, is it all right if I offer to help you? If somebody would like some help with this, drop some likes or, or give me a yes in the comments. If you would like help with putting this together, Hi, Charlene. What's up, Sourcing Pros? So if you would like help with putting together a paid subscription group based on what you already know and 
helping you organize that knowledge and find people who want that knowledge. Anybody want help with that? Is it all right if I, uh, if I tell you what I do? No? Because I got to go here in about a minute. So, there are a couple different ways that if you want to find out more about this, you can. Number one, get yourself this recurring revenue roadmap because this will, if you don't have an idea or you know you have a talent but you don't know how to organize that stuff, this recurring revenue roadmap will undoubtedly give you total clarity on what you want to do. And all you do is you put in the chat GPT prompts that I give you in the Notion document and you put those into ChatGPT or Bard or Grok or whatever AI you want to use, and it will spit out the answers for your specific business based on your skill that you want to help people with. Not mine, yours. It's a customizable business plan. And it will tell you exactly what you need. And I suggest you use some of the same, same things that I have as far as the, um, you know, as far as the numbers. You know, just plug in there. I've got two products. One of them's 470, one of them's $47 a month. The other one's 479 a year. The 479 a year, obviously people only pay once. The 47, people pay once a month. And pl pluck that in there for your thing and you're gonna get similar numbers. Or if you want to make it less, put in less. Or if you wanna make it more because you believe what you offer people is much more valuable, just like Loy. If someone can learn how to close a $5,000 home improvement job, then it's probably worth a lot more than $47 a month. It's probably more worth, worth more like 97 or 197 a month because the value of what they're learning far outweighs what they're paying for it on a monthly basis. Does that make sense? So it all depends on the value that you're bringing. And value is perceived by the person. It should not be perceived by you. Because there's been plenty of times that I thought something didn't have value and other people do. Like my father-in-law was telling me about a, about a gun that he purchased the other day. And if you love guns and that, fine, I don't have anything against guns. But I grew up in Florida and in Florida, hunting and all that stuff is not really that important. It's huge up here in Pennsylvania. He spent $500 on a gun. And he said, you can't buy a gun for less than $500 these days. And I was like, what an incredible waste of money. But to other people, that is a valuable expense or that's a valuable investment to them. To me, it's not. And so guess what? I'm not the target market for that. So... Value is perceived and, and value, is, um, value is not necessarily what we pay. It's, you know, value is what we, um, value is what we perceive, price is what we pay. Does that make sense? So if you want the recurring revenue roadmap, you can go there and get that. If you want to find out what we do, you can go to setitandforgetit.co without the roadmap. You just setitandforgetit.co and that will take you to the, uh, the page where I've got a training for you. And if you want to find out more about paid subscription groups, I've also got a Saturday free workshop. You can sign up for that. 
I just need to log in so I can show you the page to go there. So it all depends on where you are in this process, okay? If you're trying to get clarity on what your idea is, then get the roadmap. If you want to know, if you want to know what's involved with this, then you can go to um, you can go to um, the set it and forget it deco. Sorry, I was trying to look at something. And if you want to sign up for a free training on how this works, you can go to this page. This is a free training and I'm getting ready to get out of here because I've got a, got somewhere I got to be. So instead of roadmap, if you want to sign up for the free training on Saturday, it's Saturday from one to two. If you want to sign up for that, set it and forget it.co slash workshop. Intro to creating, launching, and growing your paid subscription group from zero. Just give me your name and email address, and then I will send you a registration link for Zoom. And we go from 1 to 2 Eastern tomorrow. And I'm going to show you the five things that your paid subscription group needs in order to, um, in order to succeed. So was this helpful to you guys? Was this helpful? Did you get something out of this? Because I just want you to, I just want you to imagine for a second that you're not trading your hours for dollars and you're not starting at zero every month, meaning if you don't work, you don't get paid. I want you to think about in terms of, I know this month I'm going to have X amount of money come in. And based on creating videos and showing people what I do for them, I'm going to add X number of people in the next however many days. And we show you all kinds of really cool ways that you can go from 10 to 20 and 20 to 40 and 40 to 80 and 80 to 160 with your paid subscription group so that it happens quicker. We show you all kinds of ways inside of our program how to do that. So I hope you got something out of this. Um, I haven't heard from anybody with any likes or comments um, in a while. So, and I got to go anyway, because I got, um, I got things to do today. But if you want the roadmap, go there. If you want to sign up for the workshop tomorrow, you can go to setitandforgetit.co slash road or slash workshop instead of roadmap. And if you can't make the road, if you can't make the workshop, but you want some help with this. You want somebody to actually show you how to do this, how to take your idea and make it a paid subscription group. I'm doing a Black Friday spe uh, special and it ends um, Saturday at midnight. You'll see the countdown if you go to the if you go to my website. So you go to setitandforgetit.co. You you give me your email address. You can watch the free training. And then you can scroll down and you can see that I have a monthly as well as a yearly. And the monthly, I'm doing $10 a month off and that's a lifetime monthly discount. The yearly, I'm doing $100 off the yearly price and that's a $100 lifetime discount. So you are grandfathered in. And for the first 18 people, for the next 18 people, because I offered it to 20, um, and we, we had interest in it, so I ended up adding some more spots. But for the next 18 people who sign up for either the monthly or the yearly at the discounted rate on Black Friday, I'm giving one-on-one -on -one strategy Zooms where you and I are going to spend up to two hours and we're going to say, okay, what's your skill? Okay, here's how we turn this into a paid subscription group. Here's what you should price it at. Here's what you're going to do for content. Here's how you're going to attract people to it. 
Here's how you're going to convert the people who are interested in it into buyers. And here's how you're going to deliver value inside of this. We show you all of that stuff inside of that two-hour Zoom. Now, that two-hour strategy Zoom, and I'm actually getting ready to get on one now, that two-hour strategy Zoom is normally a $750 value for, um, no, I'm sorry, it's $1,500 because it's two hours. So that's a $1,500 value, and you're getting that for free when you sign up for our monthly or our yearly uh, membership program. And this is not me saying you need to do this business. This is, what do you like? What are you good at? Great, let's turn it into a monthly subscription group so you can get paid for it. Okay? All right, guys, I gotta go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. Um, you can also check out videos. I got tons of videos on my page here. So you can check those out. You can find out what we're all about. You can grab the free roadmap if you want to start fleshing out your idea. And if you decide to come to the workshop tomorrow and register for the workshop, um, do this first. So you come with some homework done so we can flesh out your idea a little bit even on the free workshop. But if you want two hours of strategy call with me, sign up for the monthly or the yearly and be one of the next 18 people to do so. And you'll get to schedule. I'll give you my calendar and we'll schedule a two hour strategy Zoom where we're going to go over your entire idea. We're going to figure out what problem you solve, who you solve it for, how specifically you solve it, and how to incorporate your story of how you learned it into your marketing so people want it. So it's an incredible value. Um, like I said, when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, which I don't do very often anymore, but when I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, two hours of my time like that, that's, that's 1,500 bucks. So if, you, if you're ready to get started and help flesh out that idea, and make 2024 the, the year that you started creating recurring income. Awesome, Cindy. How are you? But listen, I got to go do this strategy call with one of my new members. Um, so I'm going to get off of here. But I hope that you've gotten something out of this. Um, and every day, I'm just trying to help you just change your mindset. And instead of thinking of trading your time for dollars... Think about having 100 people paying you $47 a month for something that you're good at and you like doing. And you will make an incredible impact. You will love your life. You'll spend time doing what you want to do. Um, I mean, does this look like I'm ha that I'm pained by doing this? Does this look like something I'm not enjoying doing? No, I love this. I talk about this all the time. If I'm not talking to my wife about sports, I'm talking about this because I love this. That's why I do it. It's exactly why I do it. All right. Okay, guys. So I hope you got something out of this. I will be back tomorrow and check out some other videos if you want. Um, see some more stuff. Uh, the Black Friday sale ends um, Saturday at midnight. And there's a counter on there that tells you how much how much time is left. Um, and again, it's $10 off the monthly and it's $100 off the yearly. So take advantage of it if you want to. If you want some help with this, um, you know, I'm here to help you. And, um, you know, we can make 2024 uh, a lot different than 2023 for you. So, all right, take care. We'll talk to you soon.